The Indians facing the Mariners. Josh Tomlin on the hill. He's lost his last three starts, but 3-0 in his career at Safeco. 2-0 Cleveland, bottom of the second. Tomlin getting some help from his defense facing Kyle Seager. He rockets one to deep right field. Rayburn with a terrific catch! Wow. Oh, baby! That is just a super play by Ryan Rayburn. Tomlin, thumbs up, bro. Tomlin appreciating the effort of Rayburn. What a sensational play. Now 4-0 Cleveland in the bottom of the fifth. Tomlin yet to allow a hit until Kyle Seeger drops one into left field. That's the first base runner of the game for Seattle. Wouldn't face Tomlin, however. Two batters later, he regroups and strikes out Mike Zanino swinging. Then, after Seeger moved to third on a wild pitch and a throwing error, Michael Saunders frozen by the fastball. Tomlin works out of trouble. Top of the six, Rowena Elias on the mound facing Jan Gomes with two outs, and Gomes pops one into foul territory near the Mariners' dugout. Mike Zanino can't make the play because Mariners manager Lloyd McClendon in the way. So, on the very next pitch, uh oh, Jan Gomes uh -huh. drives one. Deep left field. It is gone! <laughs> Gomes makes him pay! Oh, Lloyd McClendon wants to eat his hat right now. <laughs> See what happens when you get an extra strike sometimes? Boy, oh boy, look at Gomes. He went from being the third out of an inning to putting one more on the board for the tribe. And the Indians take advantage, go up five to nothing. Bottom of the sixth, Tomlin really in a groove now. Freezes Brad Miller on the curveball. Then in the bottom of the seventh, down goes James Jones on the foul tip. Two batters later, Kyle Seeger swings and misses. That ends the inning. Tomlin with eight strikeouts at that point, tying a career high. Bottom eight still rolling along. Down goes Logan Morrison looking. Mike Zanino's turn to go down swinging. Then Michael Saunders can't hold up. Check swing, he follows through. Tomlin strikes out the side. And then in the bottom of the ninth, Tomlin finishing it out with two outs. Gets Andy Chavez to ground out to Nick Swisher. Tomlin faces only one batter over the minimum as the Indians win it by a final of five to nothing. Tomlin gives up one hit while striking out 11, which is a career high and issuing no walks in his first career shutout. It's also his second career complete game. Tomlin becomes only the second Cleveland pitcher since 1914 to have at least 11 strikeouts and no walks in a shutout with no more than one hit allowed.